worst things about shopping. Is it being recognised by adoring fans? <laughs> uh, no, no, it's true. I got, I got recognised today in Dixon's. <laughs> a member of staff came up to me and went, hey, you're that mad bloke off the telly. I went, that's me. And he went, no, you're that mad bloke <laughs> off the telly. <laughs> Most British men have never been in a fight, true or false? In no. 1946, the answer would definitely be yes. <laughs> no. Just, <laughs> the biggest fight in history. <laughs> Fight recently. Yeah, massive. Uh, yeah. Fucking really kicked off, actually. <laughs> After about six years, there was this load of Germans. They come at us. Have you boys been in fights? Yeah, we mean David. We had a fight earlier. Yeah, we yeah. go tear it up though. Me and David in <laughs> football. <laughs> David's mad Millwall fan. <laughs> you see him. They saw him. They the king of the terraces, aren't you? Leads a big firm. I'm the black knuckle. <laughs> so, I don't even have the vocabulary to join in with this fantasy. <laughs> right, John Nickinrich, what else have people been talking about this week? Oh, post offices closing down. <laughs> Small post offices. Do you know what a post office is? My mum's a postie, I'll have you know. <laughs> One of those little yellow square pieces of paper. <laughs> Did the postmaster deliver a petition with four million names on it yeah. to 10 Downing Street? I like the fact that they deliver it, hand delivered it because they don't trust the postal service. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I think they should do is what they do with libraries. They have mobile, why do they have mobile post offices? Mm -hmm. And they can be like ice cream vans. <laughs> and they drive around and they play so, some music to attract old people. <laughs> like, we all meet again, like. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. The postal uh, service have had the prices of stamps frozen. I mean, I'm not being unsympathetic, but why should they raise the price of stamps? Because what do the actual postal service do, right? All they do is they collect a letter from a box, right? They stick it in a sorting office, then somebody else takes it to a train station who takes it up north to Newcastle, and then another bloke picks that up from there, takes it to another sorting office, he'll then sort it out again, and then he'll give it to another man who gets on a bicycle and rides for four miles on his bike in the rain and delivers it to someone in the middle of nowhere, right? And they want 22p for that. <laughs> 93% people who what are overweight? Watch Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been watching the show? Oh, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we, we should say that there are... A lot of overweight people who are that way because they have personal problems in their life. Oh, but stop eating your fat bastards. <laughs> I'll watch him doing the work and we'll see how well he's doing. We'll have him back in a couple of months to check up on the exercises. Ken, you may stop now. Thank you very much. I'll be back in two months. Right. <laughs> The story behind that was, I was fighting a by-election <laughs> <laughs> and you couldn't get any TV coverage, so that's the only thing I could get on to do. And as soon as I'd been on, the Lib Dem candidate demanded to come on and exercise the following day. <laughs> the Lib Dem candidate saw that and said, that's gold dust. That's, <laughs> that is votes right there. <laughs> I don't think you, you don't get much of an idea that politicians have any power anymore, though. No. All they constantly well, do. Well, don't have a go at him. He got voted out. I right? voted for Ken. And if, if well, I'd got my way, Ken would be mayor of London and Boris Johnson would be here. And, you know, Boris Johnson's fing funny. <laughs> <laughs> sure, back over to you. What do you think the nation have been discussing this week? Well, the Bumblebee crisis. What now? What? The Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? It's <laughs> what bumblebee crisis? You can't know. No. In the paper when it says BB crisis, you know that's Big Brother, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Female bumblebees, which apparently are the, are the zealous, hard-working sex, are turning into fat, lazy males. Um, this is a crisis because although bees don't, bumblebees don't make honey, they do a lot of bumbling. And um, bumbling levels have reached a record low, and it is a, a real problem. <laughs> so what you're saying is there's a lot of lady bees yeah. turning into lady boys. Exactly. <laughs> so bumblebees, you're saying, don't make honey? No. Right, they no. just bumble around. They just bumble, and neither do they sting. 
What do they do? Little fat, lazy shits. <laughs> <laughs> Am I dreaming or is Richard Mayley talking about bees? <laughs> Any, any thoughts on I'm a Celebrity over here? Have you been watching it, Sean? You love that kind of thing, don't you? I watch it from behind the sofa, groaning. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it reached its lowest ebb when they tried to get that earwig out of Jason Donovan's bum. <laughs> Dr Bob got involved, and I, I'm fascinated by Dr Bob because a few series ago he was called Dr Bob, and then last series he was called Medic Bob. <laughs> and the last thing you want when someone's got things up your bum is to go, uh, are you Dr Bob? Well... Medic Bob, actually. <laughs> actually, it's just Bob. <laughs> I don't even work on the show. Go on, Bill. There's no need to do that, mate. Uh, uh, I don't think that adds a lot. So. Uh, <laughs> just, why don't you do this? <laughs> Am I the only one in thinking that I don't find it terribly edifying to be in the jungle eating wild animals and insects? Hey, you don't mind it when the woodpeckers are doing it? Yeah. They love a bit of grub, the woodpecker. <laughs> They're at it like woodpeckers. You're going to do that after every bit. Of go. Let them have their little childish aside. It's all right. We'll carry it. But it is right. What, <laughs> what show do you think you're on? <laughs> oh, so and you're not supposed to eat insects now, you know? No, it's you're not a vegetarian. So much... I'm not a vegetarian. Let's not go there. But by. <laughs> That's not a country, vegetarian. <laughs> We asked the public, whose diary would you most like to read? Who got the most votes? I'd like to read the White Lion's diary in uh, Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> <laughs> got up, ate a nutter. <laughs> <laughs> Which one got eaten? Eh? Was it Siegfried or Roy? We didn't get eaten, did he? Got bit. When it happened, the majority of people in the world went, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know one bloke who went, ah! <laughs> Buskers, those, bus those buskers, and you're like, oh, I don't need this iPod now, now you're playing all my favourite songs in the wrong key on a penny whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Is it people who you're walking behind them and they suddenly stop? Is it the people you're walking along and you suddenly have an idea and stop and some asshole walks into the back of you? <laughs> of talent show applicants say they would be prepared to lose a finger for a shot at fame. Is that true or false? Is that an actual question that you would ask a talent show applicant? I think it's halfway That's through it. the act. People just go, I'll just chop your finger off. Do something. <laughs> I do it. What I do is I chop it off and stick like that and put the finger out my ear like that. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> or, or you could wrap it around your neck and use it to point at things. <laughs> it's just around the corner, just over there. <laughs> On the other side of the X Factor auditions, though, going down the back, <laughs> blocked with a big bag, going, fingers, the fingers, <laughs> fingers, come on, you. Just bend in that. Fingers. <laughs> Can you make bird noises? I don't Some know. of them, yeah. I can make the one of, one of a bird hit the pavement. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only one I do, really. <laughs> I would like a chaffinch. Yeah. No, chaffinch, all right. It's like a fast bowler running up, and so he goes... Want to do 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 That's count, though. No, well, that, that's what the, the bird makes that noise. <laughs> Did Bill just stand up then? Amazing, that's extraordinary. A man actually gets out of his seat and is smaller than when he was sitting down. <laughs> Bill Oddie, I've had it up to here. <laughs> Have you really had Bill Oddie up to there? <laughs> you bloody haven't. Top thing that annoys women. Oh, I know! <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't do that! <laughs> Oh, I like that, I mean. You see, when you get really drunk and piss in the wardrobe in the middle of the night. <laughs> and you wipe your knob on the curtains. <laughs> what do you want annoys you? To be honest, I'm not a good person to ask because everything. <laughs> 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 what annoys my wife, women think in general, is they, they say, What pair of shoes out of the 27 pairs you've got goes with this skirt? As if you're a fing expert on shoes. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, though, your wife's shoes all stink of piss. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing at the moment? What's your, what's your next thing? I wander around the world talking about congestion charging, climate change and what solid waste off? management <laughs> and which are the best fought type of bacteria to digest human sewage and things like that, you know. Is it Yakult? <laughs> Bifidus digestivum. Bifidus acti regularis. That sounds like real science. <laughs> L. Cassi immunitas. The, the, the only bacterium with an initial. <laughs> didn't you, uh, <laughs> didn't you study at Laboratoire Garnier? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of their top scientists. Yes. <laughs> I love those adverts as well, the, the tube and the circle. Those yes, are the two main actually, bits. You know, well, a new bacteria, Bifidus feelbetterium. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Spendius hard-earned money on, on bit of crappiness. <laughs> I'm a Scientologist. Are oh, you a like Scientologist? Me. Yeah, I yeah. am. I'm not surprised. I'm a f Look at your face. <laughs> <laughs> but Bill, you're a Scientologist. No, Lee, Lee, they really all believed you. <laughs> Bring it on, Griff! <laughs> Lee, you're one of the few people Scientology turned down. <laughs> Seven percent of UK kids don't know what. Shit. <laughs> um, it is. It is about um, food. What a carrot is. Very close. Yeah. Uh, what a carrot isn't. <laughs> I'm going to have to give you this one. It's 7% of UK kids don't know how to eat an orange. What? 7% of UK kids don't know how to eat an orange. Cover it in breadcrumbs and deep fry it. They'll get the hang of it. <laughs> Is it, by any chance, the world debt? The fact Tell that me they're going to well, they're going to reduce the world debt. Uh, the Western world is going to reduce the uh, African debt, and it's going to work out to about a pound per person per year, right? Which I thought that's quite good, isn't it? Pound. I'm quite happy to give that to solve. But then they said for 10 years. I'm thinking, that's ten pounds, isn't it? <laughs> oh, how tight are the northerns? Oh. <laughs> how pompous are the southerners? <laughs> Not very pompous at all. <laughs> <laughs> Britain's favourite noise. Is it that honking noise that women's breasts make when you go out? <laughs> 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 that last one was Jordan. <laughs> oh. Is it a <laughs> That's the biggest hit I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, it's not that. <laughs> it might be. It isn't that Britain's favourite noise. How about <laughs> What yeah. was that? That's an albatross shitting on Bill Oddy. <laughs> Albatrosses are quite wet, right? Really? Yeah, great, that's right. Hey, my face! 60% of drivers think what is a good idea? Driving with your knees whilst eating against us pasty. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way to do it. <laughs> One on Want a cup for the small bits of potato. <laughs> I'm not wasting that, I'd rather risk my life. <laughs> It, no. Is it, is it, is it uh, playing lullabies and having a pillow? <laughs> OK, I can tell you it's something, that, um, it's something that you would expect drivers not to like. Speed cameras. Eamon, you're brilliant. You've got it. <laughs> that doesn't... Yeah. Well, I imagine everyone's talking about Strictly Come Dancing and John Sargent stepping down. I think that's what they're talking about. I haven't talked about anything else. <laughs> no, he's resigned because he felt bad. He said that there was just going to be too much angst and too much anger and so I think he did the gentlemanly thing and he was like you know what I'll take myself out and let the best dancer win if you see any clips of him actually dancing they're always shocking there's one that he looks like a caveman just like like he's just about to pick her up over his shoulder <laughs> <laughs> just throw her into a cave I'll have you later let's have a look at a shot of him look that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you saw that in the street you would call the police <laughs> <laughs> I would actually pay him to keep still. That's how bad it is. This is what I was hoping he was building up to. That in the last round, he would defiantly stand still yeah. and win out of popularity alone. <laughs> so that's the way he was heading. Because essentially, it's proved one thing that this country doesn't give a shit about dancing. <laughs> We'd rather vote for a, for a very well respected political commentator. Which is what he is. A good political commentator. He can't move at all. Better if he stays still. That's terrible dancing. But he's a great guy. We prefer him as a concept to all this f***ing dancing. <laughs> They'd be so rude, all those dance judges, to John. They asked him on the thing. They know he's in his 60s and a bit portly. And how surprised are they every week? Your dancing wasn't brilliant, you <laughs> political commentator in your 60s. <laughs> I was on Len Goodman. He was one of the... Judges. Judges. He's been rude to him. I've been on a comedy panel show with him. I didn't say, you're not very fucking funny, are you? <laughs> so, at the end of that round, it's one point to Sean's team and four points to Dave's team. Oh, thank you. Well, I'd just like to say, at 4-1 down, 
We've never come back from a score like that, so we actually just concede. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, that's, that's the end of the show, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> We've never had this had before. It'd just be the test card for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> you do look a bit like that girl from the test card, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the nation's favourite treat. It's drop-kicking a hedgehog, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You go, it's been a couple of months, I deserve another one. <laughs> you, nudge, you nudge him around a bit with your foot, so he curls up into an ice ball. You pick him up, you choose a neighbour's garden about four down. He's saying, you're going on holiday. <laughs> Boof! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Is it when you're having a barbecue and you've run out of burgers and then, as if by magic, a, a hedgehog lands and... <laughs> ..starts cooking? I mean, we know what it is. It's What's alcohol. It? That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's not alcohol. The people have lied in the survey. No, it's a bit, It's something people have gone, oh, it's like leaders, a walk leaders. in the country, rather than... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's something I like. like. I think... Spending time with my family. <laughs> I'm every woman. It's all in me. Chelsea! <laughs> when you go to football now, it's like everyone's got Alzheimer's, the early stages, isn't it? Cos all the songs are like, Who are you? Who are Who's the bastard in the black? <laughs> <laughs> How did I get here? 